Hello, this is Mr. Funky Teacher with MrFunkyTeacher.com and I am here to talk to you today about degrees. I'm going to do an introduction to uh, looking at degrees of a circle. And in order for me to explain degrees of a circle, I first want to talk about the skateboard. Now, if many of you out there are interested in skateboarding or snowboarding, uh, you might have heard uh, heard some professional skateboarders say, hey, uh, I just did a 360. Now, when they're talking about 360, what they're do talking about doing is, if they're in the skateboard, they're talking about actually taking the skateboard in, in air, they're turning it around 360 degrees. And that's, that's a 360 degrees. When you completely turn around in the air on the skateboard, 360 degrees. And that's a skateboarder doing that and that's a tricky thing to do. Now some of you out there might be able to do something like that. So there's more degrees than just a 360 going all the way around. It's there's much more to it than that. And so what I want to do here is you know I have a circle drawn up here and once again our focus here is degrees that we're going to be talking about. This is an introduction to degrees. And so what I want you to do is, I just want you to go ahead and stand up, and we're going to practice doing different degrees. Now, let's first practice just by going, doing a 360 degree standing in place. Here we go. Excellent. We just turned around, and one complete turn is a what? 360 degrees. That's right. And now if we want to do half of a 360, Half of a 360, hmm, that would be a 180 degrees. So let me show you a 180 degree turn. And that's a half of a half of a 360 degrees. Here we go. A 180. See that? That's half of a turn of a complete circle. That's a 180. 180 degrees is what you're turning. Let's let's try it again. 180. All right, now let's look at, we can even break down a, a 180 degrees and we can go half of that and just do, do even a smaller turn. So let's look at this one here. What do y'all think that is? That's a 90 degree turn, a 90 degree turn. It's a, if you look at, if you have this angle here, it's a perfect 90 degree turn. And so it, we're just going like this. We're standing here facing this way. And we turn, we do a one fourth of a turn, which is a 90 degree turn. Hmm, now think about this. If we want, how many 90 degree turns can you make to make 360 degrees? Hmm. Well, let's try it here. 90 degrees. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. It took four 90 degree turns to go completely around. And as we know, one complete turnaround is a 360 degree turn. Now, I wonder how many 90 degree turns make up 180 degrees. Well, let's try it. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. It took two 90 degree turns to make up a 180 degree turn. Well, I wonder. I've also heard. What if I? What if I? Just. What if I don't go 90 degrees or 180 degrees? What about if I go this far? If I go three 90 degree turns. That's a 270 degree turn. So if you, once again, I'm back at zero degrees, and I turn 90, another 90, and another 90 degrees, I'm at 270 degrees. Now, all it takes is one more 90 degree turn, and then I've done one complete turn. And so you can look at it, when you're looking at a, at a circle here and turning completely around, you can look at it in terms of a fractions or degrees here. So I do a 90 degree turn, I do a 90 degree turn, 
I do a 90 degree turn and I do a nine, another 90 degree turn. Or I could say, hey, I'm going to turn one fourth. I'm going to turn another one fourth, another one fourth, or another one fourth. You know, and and how many? And there, there's one fourth. One fourth of a turn is equal to 90 degrees. One fourth of a turn is equal to 90 degrees. And so it actually takes four, uh, four one fourth turns. One fourth. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth. In order to equal uh, a one complete turn, a four fourth turn, or that's a one whole turn, also known as what? How many degrees? 360 degree turn all the way around. And so this is a basic introduction talking about degrees. When you actually get your mind and, mind and body working together, actually doing the turns rather than just looking at them, it helps you understand them so much more. And so let's go ahead and go back through these one more time here. If we go completely around, that's 360 degrees. If we go three fourths of the way around, three over four, that's a 270 degree turn. If we go halfway, 180 degrees. And then if we only go one fourth of a turn, that's a 90 degree turn. And so, oh, and then all the way around once again is a 360 degrees. You know, and when skateboarders and snowboarders use degrees all the time when they're talking about turns they do. And it doesn't matter, uh, you can do a 360 degrees this way going left, or you can do a 360 degree right, or you could even do a 180 degrees right. You could do a 90 degrees right. You know, if you're on a skateboard or snowboard, you can do those different degree turns either way. It doesn't matter as long as you keep track of how far you turn. And so this is a basic introduction to talking about degrees when you look at a circle and looking at 360 degrees and how you can break up that into 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and then of course a very, very much cool 360 degrees. Hope this helps with an introduction talking about degrees and what it looks like.